Oh, hey there. Hi, hello. Welcome back, Alexandrian Codex. Um, what is this? I have Victoria 2 open. Am I starting a new campaign? Not yet. Not yet. I, uh, I did something. I did something. Um, uh, I've been meaning to do for about a year. Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> I've been spending the last... Oh, God. My phone's over here. Yeet! Um... God, I started on this uh, Monday, Tuesday, T Tuesday, I think Monday or Tuesday. I opened up Victoria Two and made uh, this is on top of HPM. Obviously, if you're looking at the map, I did the first step of the mod I've been talking about. We can we can jump in here and take a look around. Um, yeah, obviously, there's like thirty something new nations on the map. That took a while. Um, it's not particularly hard to code in new nations. No, it's just time consuming. I haven't gotten into adding really any mechanics. I fixed a bug with Canada uh, that, well, not a bug. In, in HPM, Canada is allowed to annex the other Canadian provinces like immediately. Nah, I didn't like that. So I pushed that back to 1841. So. I'm going to have ongoing uh, videos, I guess, talking about the changes I've made in progress reports and stuff like that. So this has been a better part of a year. I spent a lot, a lot of fucking time last year, like, literally hundreds of hours reading up on populations in different areas, trying to figure out who would be the best fit for where, what years they should get annexed, da 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 all that sort of stuff. So there, there's a lot going on here. I guess we can just hop around. Uh, a lot of these are going to look familiar if you were here last year. God, it's been a while since I announced me working on the groundwork for this project. Yeah, the colors are fine. Uh, the Russian-American company maybe shouldn't be. The Russian-Russian-American company. Because the name of the uh, entity is the Russian-American company, but it's a puppet. Or it's a satellite of Russia, so it becomes the Russian Russian American company, just like Quebec being in uh, North America. All of these become British North America. Yeah, yeah. None of these really have special mechanics yet. If we if we look at overall population, um, and this is a complaint I have about Victoria too. There's no overall population. <laughs> there's province population. Um. Oh shit, there is. I'm a liar. So, we're not gonna see any of our powers in the millions? No. Not even like the hundreds of thousands. No. All of these powers that got added are very small. They're very small. And if you manage to survive as any of them, you've accomplished a lot. The Iron Confederacy is the biggest, apparently, with 129,000. Did I make a fucking typo somewhere? 4,000, 3,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 2,000. How exactly does that add up to 120,000? Okay, okay, I, I just... I gotta know, I gotta know. So I'm, I'm just going to poke around in this and talk for a little while. Uh, the, the big announcement is, God, the t probably the most tedious part of the <laughs> design work is done. Now I have to go in and code events, so I have to read up on Victoria 2 event coding and stuff like that. Yeah, your population's 30,000. The ledger is a dirty, dirty liar. Why were you telling me it had 120,000? Well, okay that this is what it should be. Huh. Yeah, so most, <laughs> like, all of these lowest, smallest countries are what we got. Yeah. yeah so none of these are going to be... Okay, some of these are just wrong, and ignore them. 
you're not going to be able to take out the United States. Not unless you are just an absolute genius or use console commands, you're, you're absolutely not going to be able to take out the US. In fact, you're probably not going to be able to stem the advancement of the United States. The time for stopping the United States was hundreds of years ago, honestly, at this point. A, a hundred or more years ago. Once the US reached a critical mass of a million people, even, it had a huge advantage over its neighbors, especially because it became industrialized. Even if all of these, it, literally, even if all of these minor nations were annexed into a uh, weird, homogenous Native American nation, I still don't think you'd have the population that the United States does. In fact, I know you don't. You have hundreds of thousands. I've introduced literally hundreds of thousands of more people than Vanilla has. Uh, HPM does a pretty good job with the pops. I disagree with their numbers a little bit, but it's, it's not as significant as Vanilla's horrible, horrible numbers. We've added, oh god, quite a few new cultures. Ah! God damn it. All right. So, uh, Yankees have no culture. This is, this is true. This is very true. Uh, you? And now, now you get to see me fix a fucking bug. Alright, we go into HPM, we go into Common, we go into Cultures. And it's behind OBS. Ah, that's why I didn't see it. So, what fucking gives? <laughs> there it is. There it is. I used the parentheses instead of a bracket. This is the downside to coding this often. I've made that mistake a few times. I've caught it every time. So uh, ignore this weird pink color. This is going to go back to Yankee Blue and America won't be populated by no culture people. But, you know, arguably it already is. Um, yeah, we have... Any, any Shinabe? I can't pronounce all of these. For the Three Fires Confederacy and the Algonquin here, they're very related to Cree, but they aren't Cree. Cree still dominates Canada for the most part. Matisse have a pretty heavy presence here in the Red River Colony. Uh, I think the Red River Colony can be annexed into Canada. I need to playtest that and make sure that works. They need to border each other, and I. I haven't done playtesting with this more than for like five years. I've let it run for five years and nothing apparently broke, so it's fine. The US still has its cores all over what it used to have, and I'll probably give it more cores, so it can... Well, I'm on the fence about this. I'm either going to take all of those cores away and give them cores and annexation by event, which is the way I'm leaning. Or I'm just going to give them cores over the, all the fucking things they could potentially want and let the AI go wild. As is, the AI like immediately declares war on the Sioux and the uh, Three Fires Confederacy here. These minor nations, and I keep saying minor nations because they're really not strong. They're, they're not civilized, so that's putting you at a huge disadvantage. They don't have soldier pops, not really, because they didn't have... The, the vast majority of the soldiers used by these were irregulars. They were not year-long soldiers. They were hunters and gatherers most of the time, and also soldiers sometimes. And financially speaking, mechanically speaking, when you have populations as small, you, you need them all to be laborers or farmers. You need to be producing shit, otherwise your people starve and your population drops. So, yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem. If you're playing as one of these and really, really want to raise an army, dude, use your national focuses. You absolutely can. Uh, you can you can encourage soldiers. It's gonna take some time, as it should take some time, because none of these were the homogenous entities that they're looking like right now, right? That they weren't nations in the same way that. Uh, they didn't have a single head of state, they, for the most part, didn't even have, like, a single ruling council. Uh, the Comanche often did, or the Numunu also did. Um, the Dakota and the Sioux often did. 
but it was like an interim council and there were bands that would leave or come back there were tribes entire tribes that would sometimes be members and sometimes not same thing with the three fires confederacy they had varying degrees of cooperation and centralization so it's it's already doing you a huge favor in not having like this broken into four different constituent parts and this and the well, seven different constituent parts and these into three constituent parts. The map would just be noise at that point. So, yeah, yeah. I I would be thoroughly impressed if anyone manages to do a... Not even a world conquest, just the survive until 1936 game is any of these. Uh, Texas seems to win the... Uh, their independence war pretty consistently. Now I'm just gonna let this run while I talk so we can look at this. Yeah, the Russian-American company immediately becomes a presidential dictatorship and, I, you know, honestly, I don't have a problem with that. Is it canon? No. Uh, but they're not really... Mm, nah. Nah, I'm gonna be neutral. For now, probably Quebec will eventually declare war on me because they have cores. But, you know, we'll just ride this out. We'll ride this out. I got nothing going on. Cultures are... So all of these new cultures are part of the same cultural group, unfortunately. I couldn't break them up. Well, I don't think you can make new culture groups. You may be able to. I didn't want to. Uh, I may come back and do that later. But these all recognize each other as a uh, same culture group. Even if they don't have the exact same culture. <laughs> Uh, I'm feeling bad about the no cultures here. The Americans, like, immediately start fabricating a war on someone. No, they're not? What? What? You're not? Huh. They've been very jingoist in past games. They've been expanding like crazy. You're, yep, Mexico gave up on Texas, like, immediately. The Texan-Mexican War used to drag on for a long time, but because they get stuck here, and Texas has some semi-defensible terrain with the fort here and has a good defensive leader, they tend to do okay now, which is pretty nice. The U.S. doesn't have to intervene to make sure that they survive. I, uh, I will do a second go-through and assign cores on... Why am I seeing the United States course here? I don't I don't want to be seeing that. Stamp. <laughs> Stamp it. I will be seeing introducing cores on same culture provinces nearby to encourage the AI to fight themselves. Again, they're already at a disadvantage and not a single one can raise a single regiment of troops. But hey, maybe they will. Let's, let's westernize. Why not? Sure, that's not going to take forever. Why is my population dropping? I can't tell if people are leaving or not. Oh, you did declare war. It was just a very quick war. You ate this up. And this. Yeah. So the U.S. will probably just cut a swath through North America. I haven't introduced any of the Canadian revolt mechanics yet or anything like that. But, you know, it's in game. It works. Is it... Done? Fuck no, I have weeks, weeks of work ahead of me, but the most tedious, boring, but, you know, aesthetically pleasing work is done. All of these have flags. God, you can, you can look for yourself once this is out and published. Uh, the Iron Confederacy, if you're a Civ player, you'll recognize this is just the Kree uh, flag from <laughs> Civ 6. The Iron Confederacy did not last long enough to have a symbol or a flag or anything like that, and again, they weren't homogenous enough. Most of these flags are modern, and most of them are only from, like, one band or one part of these nations or these tribes. And some of these, uh, like, like this, is just based off of artwork. Some of these don't have, so far as I could tell, so far as I could find, don't have artwork. So, well, don't have flags. So this is this is the best you're getting, champ. I ran, I ran into a fun bug where 
Um, you'll notice the United Kingdom's flag is their republic flag, not their monarchy flag. That's because I ran into an existing vanilla Victoria 2 bug that broke monarchy flags. So I'm going to end up doing a reinstall, but yeah, for now I just substituted the default flag file for all of the all of the, the uh, monarchies. So it, it doesn't really matter. It only matters if you look super close at things and you care a lot about the flags, which I don't. I do not give a shit about the flags. Each of these only have one flag. I have not created communist, fascist, monarchist, and republic variants of the flag. Fuck you, that's too much work. I'm not getting paid for this. If you pay me, uh, I don't know, each flag takes like 15 minutes, so that's like 15 times 30. Math. Math is hard. Math is hard. Um, I have a calculator somewhere. 15 times 30, that's easy, Alex. You're a big dummy. Yeah, I'm a big dummy who has literally been working for the last 12 hours on this fucking mod, so you will excuse me. 30. 30 times 15 divided by 60. That's seven and a half hours of work. Uh, times 20. That's how much I should be paid an hour. Minimally. Yeah, uh, $150. That's, that's how much that's worth to me. <laughs> so, I, I ain't doing that. Um, God, I should not do that. I, I ugh, If I calculate how long I've spent on this and how much I would contract out for per hour, I've put hundreds of dollars of time into this so far. And I'm only, oh god, probably like a tenth of the way done. Like, this, all of this took a long time. But the events and playtesting, ooh, 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 fuck. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm gonna release this build because, I mean, the nations exist and that's kind of cool and they have flags, but like some shit's real broken right now. Like uh, the US turning into a <laughs> war hawk just eating their way across North America. They, they did it sort of this way, but they didn't. It was an open warfare, right? It was it was more subtle than this. And they, you know, peacefully annexed a lot of these as well. Well, peacefully. Cool. I'm just all conservative. And my economy's hemorrhaging. Hey! 1839 just passed, so Canada unified. I have 1839 set as the date because 1839 was when it was first proposed that Upper and Lower Canada be combined into a single political entity. Uh, it wasn't until 1841 that they were combined, and the rest of Canada was until like 1857, 1867, something like that. But, you know, I'm gonna let it happen at its earliest possibility just because it could have happened. Did it happen? No, but it could have. Yeah, yeah, definitely let me know if you have any questions, suggestions, ideas, uh, criticisms. So, oh God, we'll run through these nations really quick. But to do that, we're going to have to go back to uh, nation selection because the U.S. has eaten, like, five already. <laughs> Put in hours of work just for the U.S. to consume. The yeah, Alutik are up here to represent the Aleutian and Inuit peoples in Alaska. Dine is here to represent the uh, Dine people. Dine people uh, is a language group more than an actual single culture. They spread all throughout here, but mostly they're here as a cap. Uh, this is... These provinces have a 15 life... whatever, they have a 15 life rating, life support, life habitability rating, basically. So it's to stop the Russian-American company from settling inland. Russian-American company is fucking pathetic. It's like 99.5% indigenous people, like 0.5% Russians. So I, I considered only giving them the areas where they're actual Russians, but I gave them this whole thing because... I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I 
there were trade company posts here that were still up in operation. There were once upon a time posts up here as well, but they fell out of use. Twingit, Simchen, Dako, I can't, I can't pronounce all the things. Silix, uh, there's a lot of Salish in here. There's a lot of Pinutian, like fucking everywhere. The cultures I went with are mostly lingual groups, more so than cultural groups, just because it's easier to divvy things up that way, and there's so many extinct cultures uh, that didn't survive from 1836 until now that it's easier just to paint with broad uh, lingual brushes than it is with cultural brushes, because that's at least closer. Northern Paiute, Southern Paiute, Maidu, Wintun, Pomo, uh, these are hugely and even these are all pretty the loose shoot seeds uh, all of these are very vague Wait, there are and here and here and here uh, dozens dozens of very populous groups that were in this area but I can't split up these provinces into dozens of subsections so it went with the biggest one even if the biggest nation was only bigger by like a hundred people they got it and because I didn't want to play favorites, the Dineta, the Western Apache are here. They got the name Apache because I didn't want to name them Western Apache when there wasn't a corresponding Eastern Apache. Mescalaro are here. Comanche, Caddo, Arapaho, Pawnee. Uh, God, what are you in white people? I don't remember. Yunkos, Konsa. Um, don't remember. It <laughs> doesn't matter. The Sioux or the Seven Fires Council or the Dakota. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Uh, some of these flags are really quite beautiful. Some of them are not, not the best. <laughs> I have to say, HPM has, since the last time I touched on it and played it, they've introduced a lot of features that were pretty close to things I was talking about, so big ups to the devs working on- dev? I think single dev working on that? Some very impressive stuff. It was fun, I found some bugs in uh, HPM, some typos in HPM when I was going through this, so I got to send them a message like, hey, this code's fucked. <laughs> Don't worry about why I'm digging through your flag files. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna shut up now, it's been 20 minutes, I haven't said anything worthwhile and. 10 or 15 but I'm excited to be able to announce this and god it feels nice to finally get around to making progress on this rather than just saying I don't have the time to work on it I do have the time and I'm hoping to make some significant progress I want this done by the end of May will it be done by the end of May I don't know I'll probably get burnt out in the next week or two and need a break but it's so nice to not feel like I need to uh work instead of this or be social instead of this because i can't do either of those because of quarantine and why why did you get so quiet you're killing me dog victoria 2 is either like way too loud or completely silent nowhere in between <laughs> all right all right i will maybe be streaming i should stream something in the next few days the youtube vlog is almost up uh it may be this it probably won't be this. I wanted to get this done by the time the YouTube vlog was up so I could just stream my mod. But this is taking longer than I thought, which is fine. Don't stream something. If you have ideas, suggestions, comments, yada yada yada. Down below. Till then, tomorrow. <laughs> God, yeah. I'm, I'm tired and brain dead. Until then. I'm gonna say toodaloo. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. There we go. That's how you say it, Alex. That's how you do your outro. <laughs> Till then, bye-bye.